Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, and we deal with a lot of farm duty motors. Getting the right motor for an agriculture application is key to keep your business running smoothly. Today, we're covering what exactly a farm duty motor is and basic wiring of the motor. Before we dive in, I wanna thank our community for subscribing and supporting our channel. This allows us to continue making video content. If you have an idea for our next video, leave a comment below. Today, I'm working with the Leeson Farm Duty Motor. This is one of the preferred brands for farmers in Canada. They've earned a reputation of reliability and durability. Whether you grow it, breed it, dry it, or move it, the Leeson brand is a dependable choice. So, what's a farm duty motor? Farm duty electric motors have specific construction and capabilities that make them different from a regular motor. Key features include AC single phase power. The standard farm duty electric motor runs on 115 volt or 230 volt single phase power. Historically, farms were not fed with three phase power that comes from the grid, so three phase motors were rarely required. Single phase power is still to this day the most common power source on farms. So farm duty motors are still designed for single phase use to avoid needing to add a phase converter to your circuit. There are now many agriculture applications where three phase power is available and even required. So you can find three phase farm duty motors on the market. TEFC enclosure. The standard farm duty motor is designed with a totally enclosed fan cooled enclosure. This enclosure is dust tight and protects against some water ingress. Perfect for farm environments. The fan of the motor is powered by the shaft and you can see the fan pushes air over the surface of the motor to cool it. High starting torque. Standard farm duty motors are rated with a high starting torque, usually with a start capacitor to increase the motor's torque at startup and mitigate any current issues with cycling the motor on and off rapidly. The high starting torque allows the motor to start under heavy load conditions. Manual reset thermal overload protection. The standard farm duty motor is equipped with a manual reset thermal overload protector. Meaning, if an overload situation or someone or something were to get caught up in the attached equipment, the motor will trip out and not restart unless done so manually. If the motor were to restart automatically, it could cause additional damage to the driven equipment or injure your livestock or worse, you. There are a few more features common in farming motors, such as high duty cycle, high efficiency, and bi-directional rotation. Leeson has also developed farm duty motors for specific applications, like crop dryer motors, auger motors, and farm duty fan motors. These all have different constructions and capabilities. Let's run through the steps to wire a Leeson farm duty motor. First, we'll open up the connection box and take a look at the wires. Notice that each wire is labeled or color-coded. Looking at the motor nameplate, you'll notice the wiring diagram is listed right here. If you don't see a wiring diagram on the nameplate, check the inside of the connection box. You'll also find the wiring diagram on our website. Note that there may be two wiring diagrams based on the voltage, so select the right diagram for your input voltage. Punch out a hole for your input power cable. The Leeson motors come with a few options to punch out and they are removed with an easy tap. You'll need a strain relief here to hold the wires. You'll find these at any electrical wholesaler. Feed your cables through the strain relief and connect the ground screw. You'll want to use SOW power cables which are weather and water resistant. Place all the wires back into the connection box and tighten your gland to keep it in place. Test out your motor and confirm that it's running. You should see the shaft spinning. Okay, now you know how to wire a farm duty motor. Have any questions? Leave me a comment below or reach us at emotorsdirect.ca. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.